All right, you guys ready? Got everything you need? Again, for those who are just now jumping on, I'm gonna run through the things you're gonna need for this workout. A few things, you will need a chair or bench. I'm gonna use the bench for a bent over row option that we have for today. The chair is going to be something that we're gonna use for a standing exercise, so heads up on that. If you have a looped band, definitely grab it. It's not mandatory for this workout, but it is gonna help elevate each exercise to the next level. So get excited about that. And then if you have weights, go ahead and grab them. Lighter set, heavier set would be great. If you only have one set, it's not a big deal. We'll make it work. I'll always let you know when to grab a lighter set and when to grab a heavier set if you do have that option. So I'm gonna mat to the end. So I think we are good and we'll go ahead and get started. And a couple of people are still jumping on. So really quick, just kind of wiggle around. Shoulders back Next and down. Next workout will begin in 60 there seconds. There she is. Please proceed to a station. You guys missed that voice. <laughs> ah, and forward roll. Make sure you're breathing. And wiggle, wiggle. So hands on those hips. We're gonna start off with those booty kickers. I do love starting off with these just because a lot of us find ourselves sitting a lot more during this time. And this is a great way to stretch those quads just a little bit extra which tend to get overused when we sit a lot. So hands on the hips to make sure that we're not arching into the back. You wanna keep those hips still, core is slightly engaged, shoulders back and down. Bring those arms forward, shoulders down. As the heel comes up, elbows come back. Now, because we're not using any resistance, you're not gonna have much feedback. So I really want you to bring mindfulness into this movement. So core is Begin strong. set one. As you bring the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blade, and as you push the arms forward, squeeze the chest, okay? Right where the arm meets the torso. Make sure you breathe in. Go three, two, and one. Shake it out. Hands back on those hips. We're bringing it into a small march. Now, as always, if you have a sensitive or stiff back, if you woke up with a little bit of stiffness or tightness, don't bring the knees up as high, okay? We're warming everything up, just kind of getting moving in the joints. Shoulders down, foot is flexed. Stop exercise. Are you breathing? Now we're gonna bring those arms forward and shoulders back and down. As the knee comes up, elbows come back. If your neck and shoulders are feeling good, you wanna kind of elevate this. You're going Begin to set two. Do hold down. Same thing applies. As you bring those arms down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. As you push, you want to feel those shoulders work. And we have no resistance for feedback, but that's okay. Just bring the mindfulness in. Core is strong. Make sure you're breathing. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Now, feet are going to be a little wider than hip distance. We're going to go into a few squats. Because we're just getting started, we're not going to make these very intense or very deep. Stop. Lower down. Exercise. Then come on up. Lower down. On up. Weight is always in the heels. Hips go back so you feel those glutes activate. And one thing that really gets overlooked on these is your core activation. You want to activate the core as you lower, keep it engaged as you stand. Now the purpose of a warm-up is not only to warm up the muscles, but to get the heart rate going a bit. So if this is challenging enough for you, stay here. Keep going. If you want a little bit more of a push, add any lift. Make sure you're breathing. Keep those shoulders out of the ears. And it's totally fine to just squat and stand. No shame in your game. Stop. It's what feels side. best for your body today. Let's go three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's step that left left foot back to a baby lunge. We're not gonna go deep into a lunge. Front leg is bent, back leg straight. Lift that Begin left arm up four. and breathe. Shoulders down. <sighs> nice. You might feel your heart rate going a little bit. That's awesome. Arm down, step together, right foot back. Again, front leg bent, back leg straight. Right arm up, shoulders down, breathe. Getting into that hip flexor a little bit. So for this first exercise, 
We're going to grab the loop band if you have it and place it around the thighs above the knees. So go ahead and do that now. Stop exercise and switch to the next. If you don't have the band, don't worry. This will be challenging. If you do have the band, don't be scared by that. <laughs> this is where you will need your chair. We're going to stand up nice and tall. Shoulders back and down, stop bending the knees. Let's start with that one. right leg. You're going to bend that right leg to light it back. Now, see how my right leg, that knee is behind the left knee? We always want to keep it behind the left knee. Tuck those hips under. You're going to push it back, release, back, release. This is getting right into the glute, right where the booty meets the thigh. Now, notice how I'm not arching into my back. You want to keep those abs engaged to keep control of those hips and keep them tucked. Your leg is moving back until it can't anymore because the booty is literally stopping it. So Stop you're feel that exercise. Keep going. Now, the higher the heel is towards the booty, the more you're going to feel the hamstring. The less, the more you're going to feel the glute. So up to you. But notice how it's not coming forward. Always behind Begin set two. that other leg. So you're focusing on that reach back, small release. Reach back, small release. Self accountable. Balancing on that standing leg. The chair is there to help you if you need it. The core is absolutely engaged. Torso is up tall. Shoulders are down. Take back, hold, release. Take back, hold, release. Now, when you hold it, you are literally squeezing your booty. Squeeze that booty. Stop. Ooh, there it is. Take a moment. Shake it out. We're going to work the other side. I'm going to move the chair. So you can see that you always want that working leg, that knee to be behind the standing knee. Okay? So stand up tall, roll those shoulders back. The left leg bends. Again, the higher the heel, three. the more you'll get into the hamstring as well. The lower, the more you'll get into the glute. Up to you on what you want to focus on today. We are going to tackle pretty much all of the lower body. So whatever you want more of. Staying up nice and tall. Now, as you do this, make sure that you're not leaning into that standing side. You want to actively push that foot down on the floor to get everything in one line, okay? It's when we start to allow that leaning that we start to feel that standing hip. So really push that standing leg down. That leg Stop back. exercise. Release. Keep going. No need for a break here. We're just getting started. So make sure those shoulders are down. Keep that breath going. Keep those hips tucked. Every time that leg moves back, tuck those hips. Feel that booty squeeze. Now on step Begin four. Step four. Here we are. We're going to add that hold. So bring it back. Hold. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Release. Bring it back. Hold. Squeeze that booty as tight as you can. And release. So as that leg moves back, again, you tuck those hips into that leg. Make sure you're breathing. I'm already working on the sweat. I hope you are too. Good morning. Happy Monday. Now for this next exercise, we will not need the band. So if you have one on, go ahead and take it off. We will need some weights Stop and the bench. exercise and switch to the so next So if you station. have two weight options, go ahead and grab one of each weight, a lighter and a heavier. If you only have one weight option, that's totally fine. So I will meet you at the bench. Keep that band close though, we are going to use it again. I'm going to start with my eight pound and then go to my five pound. We're starting with the row. So one hand Begin on the chair, one. one knee on the chair, shoulders back and down, arms straight down. Exhale, bring that elbow back and up. Inhale, slowly let it come back down. Back and up and lower back down. Always check those shoulders. Slide those shoulder blades down before you lift that arm. Elbow stays in towards the waist. And control it on the way down. Don't let gravity just drop the weight, okay? Keeping those shoulders square to the floor. And as best you can, keeping those hips square to the floor as well. Keep that core Stop squeeze. exercise. Awesome. We're going to go through this break. And as she says, begin set two. If you have a lighter weight, we are going to drop to that lighter weight. Core is strong. So active recoveries today. Minimal breaks. Begin set two. All right, time to switch. Row it back. Hold that elbow up. Shoulder slides down into the back pocket. Extend the arm straight behind. Tricep. 
and bring it in. Extend back and bring it in. Focusing on one arm at a time. So you're really going to feel that squeeze of the tricep, back of the upper arm as that arm extends straight. Keep that core strong. Use that exhale. Control it on the way back down. Exhale. Control it on the way back down. Try to see if you can stop at that 90 degree bend. Stop. That one more. Side. Come on. Nice. Now go ahead and switch sides. Shake out that arm. Again, if you have that heavier weight option, go ahead and grab it. We're going to do the row on the other side. Whew. Roll all those shoulders down. Again, every time before you lift, slide those shoulder blades down the back, okay? Lift it on up. Slowly lower down. On up. As Francie says, slower. Slowly lower. <laughs> ah, breathe. Activate that core. Make sure that those elbows, that one elbow, is close to the waistline. Squeezing that shoulder blade back and down as you lift. Nice flat back as best you can. Again, shoulders are square. Hips are square. Stop. Exercise. Keep going. Keep breathing. Nice and slow down. Now again, in a minute, when she says begin step four, we're going to switch to those triceps. So if you have a lighter weight, go ahead and grab it. If you don't have begin a lighter weight, four. you can always do tricep kickbacks with no weight. You will feel them. Bring it on back. Hold that elbow there. Slide that shoulder down. Extend back. And bend at 90 degrees. And bend. And bend. If you're starting to feel it in that neck, you might start to have that shoulder creep up. So slide that shoulder down. Keep that core engaged. If you do feel it in the neck, even though you're doing all of that, drop that weight. Keep going with the movement without the weight, okay? We might not be ready for that weight yet. Next step, we are going to be doing Stop bicep exercise curl. exercise and switch to the next Use option to grab your lighter or heavier sit weights if you have an option. But we will need some weight now. You have the option to do a sumo squat with me, or if that does not sound good, you can do a wall sit. We're going to do the same arms regardless of what you're going to do with your lower body. So go ahead and jump into a wall Begin sit if that's one. for you, or join me with the sumo. We're going to lower on down. Come on up. Lower on down. Obviously, if you're in a wall sit, you're not coming on up. You're holding it. <laughs> but arms are going to come forward. Hammer curl one at a time. Because if we do both at the same time, you can start to lean forward and get funky, shoulders get weird. So we're just going to focus on one arm at a time. Make sure you're breathing. If you're doing the sumo squat, make sure you're driving through the heels as you stand up. Don't let the weight creep into the toes. Stop. Exercise. Keep going. You got it. The knees are pushing back into the glutes. Obviously, if you need a break, take it. But I challenge you to keep going. This is starting the week off. We want to make sure we start it off right, feeling good, and proud of what we accomplished today. Woo! Hold it down, pulse. If you're doing a wall sit, knees directly over those ankles. Okay, we don't want the knees beyond the toes. Back is flat. Head, shoulders, and hips against the wall, squeezing the core in to get that back flat. Now, you don't want to force the back flat. Remember, we talked about this before. We want to make sure that that core is engaged. Ooh, feel the burn. Keep those shoulder blades squeezed together behind you, keeping that chest open so we're not rounding in. Almost there. Stop. Ooh, there exercise. it is. Come on up, shake out those legs, take a quick break. Now, for three and four, for three, we're going to bend that left arm like so, forearm parallel to the floor, elbow squeezed into the waist, shoulder down. That's just going to hold while the right arm hammer comes. Begin set three. Back in. Here we go. Lower on down, wall sit or sumo squat. We're going to hold it low. Curl. Curl. If you'd like to add on from here and you're in that sumo squat, go ahead and lift that right heel up. Why not? You can add a pulse if you want. Breathe. Core is strong. Now, if you're in that wall sit, I don't recommend lifting the heel unless you feel ready. You want to make sure that all the weight is in that other heel, that left heel. Stop. Exercise. Three more. Here's three. You got this. Two. Woo. One. Take a quick break. We're switching sides. 
Now, the weight that's just kind of hanging out here, that bicep is squeezed as tight as it can, isometric hold, light grip on the weight, so the tension's not in the rib or the wrist. Begin set four. No, bicep. Slow run down. Shoulder check. Slide down. Curl. Ah, I am burning. I hope you are too. Again, you have the option to lift that left heel. Think a little lower. Whew, add the pulses if you like. Whew, if you're doing the wall sit, you have the option to lift that left heel. However, if you have any funky knees, please don't do it, okay? Just focus on that curl, core strong. Whew, breathing. Oh, I bet this is fun. You guys get to see all of us get our booties kicked Stop off. Stop the exercise. Three more, come on, three. The next station. Two, and one. Shake it out, place those weights on down. Next up, we are coming down to the mat. Grab that light band if you have it. Lay on your back, band goes above the knees, around the thighs. You get a bit of a late start, don't worry, it's core. Begin set one. You will be just fine. Lay on your back. Whew. Arms come straight up, we'll add weights momentarily. Legs come up as well, if that feels good for the back, okay? Core is squeezed as tight as it can be. That right leg will extend. Think about going for height first. Extend, squeeze the core, and bring it back in. Just that right side today. And back in. Whew. So with this exercise, we are focusing on those arms up so we can focus on Stop shoulders exercise. sliding down the back before we go adding weights for set three and four, focusing on form. Every time that leg extends, squeeze the core. The lower you go, the more challenging this will be, but the more likely we're gonna lift the back. So gauge it according to what feels right Begin for you. Set you two. can always have one foot down and do this exact same exercise, okay? Totally fine, we're switching to that left side. Leg extends, bring it back in. So I'm showing the modified version, right foot down, left leg is extending, or if you would like more of a challenge, both legs are up and just that left leg is moving. Squeeze the core and back in. Squeeze and back in. Again, the higher the leg, the less likely it'll get into the back. The lower the leg, the more you really need to focus on that core activation. Stop. Exercise. Two more. And one. Nice. Go ahead and lower those legs down. We're going into the same thing. If you have light weights close by and available, go ahead and grab them. If not, don't worry. Up. Begin set three. Back to that right side. Again, that left leg can be down. Extend. Bring it in. We're going to add the tricep. Extend. Bring it in. Option to have that left leg elevated and stationary. Core is engaged. If adding these arms is just too much today, I totally understand. Might just be one of those days. Go ahead and lose the weight. Just hold them up. Okay. Breathe, shoulder down, core is on. Stop, exercise. Yeah. Three more, three, two, tuck those hips, and one. Take a quick moment, elbows come straight down, rock the knees side to side, going right back into the other side, but this time with that left leg. So you have the option to keep that right foot Begin down. Begin set four. Lift up, extend, bring it in, adding those triceps if you'd like. You may start to feel the quad top of the leg a little bit after those wall sits and or sumos. This is pretty challenging. The good news is we're going to be on the mat for the rest of the workout. That's the good news. <laughs> Exhale. Want you to have that other leg lifted. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Next up, we're going to keep that band. Stop exercise and switch Option to the next to keep these station. Option to grab your heavier set of weights, okay? I'm going to go for my heavier set. We're going to add a chest press to this. Or option for no weights at all. That's totally fine. Feet are planted. Focusing on the lower body first. So elbows just relax down. Begin set one. Keeping the band. We're going to lift the hips up, driving through the heels, squeeze the booty. Lower down, tap the mat, then right back up. Lower down, right back up. Nice. Now, if you are doing this and you're feeling your quad, so top of the leg up here, that means your feet might be too close to the booty. If you're way up here and you're mostly feeling your hamstrings, that means your feet might be too far away. 
to find that happy medium so that when you lift, you really feel the glutes activate, okay? Keeping those knees apart. Stop That's what that band is there for. Keep going. You've got this. Now, you're going to add a chest press for the remainder of these exercises. Now, as you lower those hips, again, don't let those knees come closer together. You got that band there for a reason. As you lift, one arm pushes up. Begin set two. On the other. Now, this is a narrow chest press. If you've got a shoulder or neck thing, this is going to be the best bet. If your neck and shoulders are feeling pretty good, you can bring those elbows out a little bit, okay? At like a 45 degree angle. Keeping that core squeeze. Now, when you lower those hips, you're just tapping the mat. Just like a little kiss to the mat. Right back up. Time under tension. The longer we keep that muscle active, the more likely we're going to get a really good burn. Make sure you breathe. Stop. Exercise. Take that break if you need it. Elbows come in, and then you bring the weight down. Okay? You can rest them here, but then you got a funky shoulder situation, right? Make sure you're breathing. And begin set three. Set three. Here we go. Curl it on up. Lift those hips. One arm up and down. Now, if you want a bit of a balance challenge, you can do both arms up. Really keep that core squeeze. Booty squeeze. The heels are driving down. Now, my toes are sticking up in the air. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that to, to really exaggerate that you're pushing for the heel. If you start lifting your toes too much, you'll start to feel your shins. So, breathe. Again, if you're alternating, stop. That's totally fine. That's fine. We're going to go through this way just because why not, right? But if you're alternating the arms, totally fine. If you're in a narrow chest press, totally fine. This is ultimately whatever feels best for you, okay? Keep those knees apart. Don't Begin let that band pull in. Now for some fun. Hold it up at the top. Tiny pulses out of the knees. Three, two, one. Lower on down, right back up. Hold. Three, two, one. Lower on down. Right back up. Pull. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Next up, we're going to lose the weight, keep the band, and lay on one side. I'm going to lay on my right so that I can face you. Almost there. Keep going. Stop exercise and Ooh, switch it off to the one more. station. Even out those arms if you're alternating. Ha, lower down, lower the weights, and place them aside. So next up, we're going to lay on our side. I call this fetal position, which sounds so scary. Don't be scared. When I used to teach a lot of bar classes, this was one of my favorite exercises. Begin set one. So curl those knees into the chest, head relaxes down. Top hand pushes into the mat, or you can do a fist right in front of the rib cage so you feel your core activate, okay? Knees are in as close as they can be. You're going to lift that top leg up. And if you have the band, you already are going to feel this in the hip a little bit. Totally fine. Push down into that hand. We're just going to do a little lift, a little lower. Now, when you lower, you are stopping at parallel. We're not going any lower than parallel. Notice how my ankle and knee are in one leg parallel to the floor. We're going to start in a parallel position and then progress to stop exercise. An external outer side position. Keep going. You want to hug those knees in as close as you can. Again, that hand pushes down to activate the core and keep those hips stacked. So really make sure you're not overlooking that push down of that front hand, okay? Begin set two. So now you're going to lift up, add a kick forward. So you're going to lift towards the ceiling and bring the knee closer to your chest. So it's up and forward. Up and forward. This movement's very small. I'm kind of exaggerating it so that you can see, but you're going to start to feel that tension build very quickly. Whew. Make sure you're breathing. Push that hand down. Up an inch and forward an inch. Up an inch towards the ceiling. Forward towards your nose. Up. Forward. Whew. Are you feeling your thigh? Because I am burning. Stop. Exercise. Take that break. You're welcome for that break because for set three and four, you have the option to do the exact same thing. Or if you want to up the ante a little bit, I've got you. We're going to extend the leg. Oh my gosh. This is insane. But so good. Begin set three. All right, lifting back up. Now, for set three, you were either doing the up, again, just up. If you were extending, you're kicking out, bring it in. Kick out, 
kick it out. Bring it in, keeping that leg parallel the whole time. Okay, toe is pointed. We really accentuate the quad. Oh, however, you're gonna feel it back here a lot more. As you do this, oh, actually go ahead and flex the foot just for fun. You'll, you'll see why when you do it. Keep that knee Stop elevated. Exercise. No break here. Now, if you were doing the knee bend, you were adding an up and forward, up and forward. I know it burns. If you were doing extension, hold that leg extended. Oh, it's so brutal. Toes go down, heel up, up. tiny lift. Woo. Begin step 35 four. seconds right here. Don't give up. I know the burn is so real. <laughs> Just make sure that you're breathing. Squeeze that core. If you need to, make that movement a little smaller. It's okay. I'm right there with you. Don't give up. Do not give up. You are stronger than you think. Your mind is going to go, oh, I don't know, but your body has this. It's got you, and I believe in you. Keep going. Seconds away. Get that heel up. Toe down. Oh, holy burn. Do I always promise a booty burn or what? Stop exercise oh, and down. switch to the next station. We're going to do the other side. So I realized we just did that entire set on one side. And then, of course, we're going to finish with a little lovely plank, but it will not be along with the cue. It's just the finisher for the day, okay? Laying on down. High fives all around, you guys. Begin yes. set. Bring one. the knees in. Relax the head. Top leg lifts. We're going to lift and lower. Oh, this side is going to be slightly more brutal because we are already did the other side and we're already feeling it. Core is engaged. Ah. Make sure you're breathing. That top shoulder is down away from the ear. You're pushing that hand into the floor. Again, don't overlook that. Okay, it helps protect the back, helps keep those hips stacked. Bet you weren't expecting such a burner, but when this is all done, you're going to feel so accomplished and so Stop ready for the day exercise. and ready for the week. Okay, don't take that break. You got this mind over matter. I know you can do this. You're going to lift, bring it forward, up an inch, forward an inch. Such a small movement, right? But so brutal. Begin the set more you two. bring those knees into the chest, the better this is going to be for the back. Oh, make sure you're breathing. Up an inch, forward, up, forward. Now this is so small, so brutal. Until I miss you guys, I want you to think about me for the rest of the week. Ah, lift, forward. We are less than 20 seconds away from our break. Oh, make it count. Push that hand down to the mat core. Squeeze, up, forward. Stop, push, take that break. My goodness, we have another round of that. Again, if you extended the leg on the other side, I know you're scared because you know what's coming up on this side. Extend the leg on this side. I can't let you leave lopsided, okay? Can you imagine? Begin set three. <laughs> All right, if you are doing the same thing, you are just lifting. If you are extending, you're holding it parallel. Extend, bring it in. Extend, bring it in. Yes. This is very challenging today. But think of all the challenging things you've gone through in life. This is nothing. This is 35 seconds of some hard work. You've got it. Keep that core strong. Push that hand down into the mat. You are sculpting that booty, by the way. So Stop exercise. High fives to that. All right. If you are bending your leg, you are lifting, kicking it forward, OK? If your leg is straight, oh, it's so brutal. Toes go down, tiny lift, okay? Woo, breathe through it right now, add it in. Begin set four. 35 seconds. Yes, 35 seconds. Then I'll give you a quick stretch. We're gonna go into a quick plank and we will be done for the day, okay? We are so close to finish. Don't give up. Just add a little more, push a little harder. Make yourself proud, okay? Breathe. Breathe, core is strong, shoulder down. We are not done yet. We are not finished till she says so. Woo, keep going. Oh, that burn is so serious. <laughs> ah. Stop exercise. Ooh, there it is. Your training oh, is now complete. Oh my goodness. All right. Before we go into our stretch, which I have a very serious stretch for you, you all need to stay on for this because that was an intense 
booty blender. Okay, we're gonna flip on over, do a quick plank because Abby would be so upset if she learned that I did not have you do a plank. All right, whoo, curl those toes under, lift them up. You have the option to do this from the knees. That's totally fine. If you need an elevated position, find a chair or a bench. Go into that plank now. Squeeze that booty. Breathe. Navel pulls back towards the spine. I am keeping count. If you need to do a forward and back, you can. However, I challenge you to just hold. There's something about having to hold without movement and really focus on form that makes this way ridiculously challenging. Breathe, breathe. Almost there. Almost there. Push those heels back. Get that leg activated. Booty squeezed. Don't give up. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the knees down. Push back to a child's pose position. Whoo, deep inhale. And exhale. Carefully come up. Sit onto one side. We're going to lose the band. I got my hair loose. Okay, we're going to lose the band. Now, again, don't you think about leaving early. You're going to need this stretch. Otherwise, you're going to be very sore. Okay, you're going to lay on your back. We've done this one before. Figure four. So let's start with that right leg. Ankle above the ankle goes above the knee. You can do this from a seated position as well. Whatever feels best for you. Okay. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do two more breaths here. You have the option to reach through the figure four, lifting that left leg, grabbing on underneath. Deep inhale and exhale. One more breath here, but before we do, take a look at that knee, that left knee. You want it directly over the hip. See how that changes the stretch for you. Deep inhale. And big exhale. Oh, carefully lower that leg back down, switching sides. Woo! Ah, oh, that was a burner. Hand on that thigh, deep inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Next one. Option to reach through the figure four, lifting that right leg up. Inhale. And exhale. Now make that adjustment with that knee. You want that knee right over the hip. Oh, makes it a little bit more challenging. Inhale. A big exhale. Lower that leg back down. Place your feet hip distance apart and parallel. Rock your knees side to side. Hug yourself, give yourself a big hug, arms across the chest, inhale, exhale, and switch the arm that's on top. Last one, biggest inhale you've taken all day, all weekend, and a big old exhale, and give yourself a round of applause. That was a bit more brutal than I intended, but I know you guys rocked it at home. I can't wait to hear what you thought, how you're feeling. Make sure you drink your water. And make sure that you stretch. So that figure four stretch that we did, do it throughout the day to prevent any intensity. Okay? Oh, that was so much fun. Thank you for joining us today. And I look forward to seeing you on our social media and all of that. Oh, I've got a reminder for you. And you know I don't have my glasses on. Reminder, we've got yoga tomorrow, Tuesday, 4 p.m. with Erin. We will, if I believe we're going to send out that link again in case you don't have it. We'll probably put it on our social media. Um, I live. We'll email it to you. And yeah, I think that's all the reminders we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Water, walk, stretch. That figure four stretch is so important, especially for those outer hips. That last one was brutal. But great job, you guys.